Dear Chairman, Mr. McGann, Dear Director General, Mr. Menzing, Ladies and Gentlemen, I'm pleased to have the opportunity to speak to you before you start the second round of your high-level sessions this afternoon. The importance of the European pulp and paper industry is well recognized. It supplies 23% of the global market. It employs more than 180,000 people and encompasses over 500 companies with an annual turnover of 75 billion euro. Over 20% of European pulp and paper production is exported. Your sector plays an important role in the value chain and not least because of important competitive uh, pressures. It has to be and it is also a very innovative industry. I'm therefore wish you um, and I'm confident that many trend-setting ideas will be the result of your discussions today. The digital transformation of industry is about value creation primarily, about higher value products, more efficient processes and disruptive business models. This applies as well to the pulp and paper industry. Ladies and gentlemen, change and competition has always been challenging for all industrial sectors. This is also the case with the digital revolution. However, the digital transformation also triggers a wide range of opportunities for business growth. For high wage regions such as Europe, Digitization of industry is a must to be able to maintain our competitiveness and to keep production in Europe and also with the potential in some cases to bring production back to Europe. Digitization should firstly be seen as an opportunity. With a successful digital transformation of industry and the economy at large, Europe becomes more attractive to industrial investments. It is indeed the role of industry to adapt to digital change, to exploit it and to invest in innovations and adjust business models. The role of the public sector is to create the right framework conditions for business growth and for digitization to happen fast and secure. And Dear ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly what my strategy on digitizing European industry is all about. It consists of four pillars. Firstly, securing easy access to digital technologies for all industrial companies and especially SMEs, wherever they are located in Europe and for any sector. It is about digital competence centers all across Europe so that they are able to provide expertise and facilities for any industry to try and test new ideas. I know that your sector is involved in these developments. A number of existing innovation hubs and the pulp and paper industry already cooperated successfully in high level research projects. For example, paper can be one of the substrates for thin organic and large area electronics. This can be a major innovation of the paper industry because simple electronics can now be printed on paper. Another example comes from the field of smart packaging where cheap smart labels can be printed and help ensure that food packages have not been exposed to temperatures higher than a defined a threshold. Secondly, we need to achieve European leadership in digital industrial platforms by building on European strengths in import areas of manufacturing and engineering like automotive, aeronautics, 
and energy. Here we need openness and interoperability of the future digital platforms for industry and around which value is created. This is about R&D, engineering and standardization, where public support and public-private partnerships play an important role. Thirdly, uh, skills. Here, public action is essential. Um, is reskilling the workforce and equipping workers with the right skill set for the digital environment. We do this through promoting digital skills across Europe and its regions at all levels and stages of education and training. Fourthly and finally, identifying smart regulatory solutions for smart industry is crucial. This includes finding the right policy approach to challenging issues like liability and safety of autonomous systems or ownership and use of industrial data. Ladies and gentlemen, we are working together with existing national platforms on digitizing industry, such as Industry 4.0, or industry du futur and others to develop these ideas and make them more concrete. It is important that we have these national platforms, but it is equally important that we define clearly where moderation, cooperation or indeed also regulation at European level could, should or must play a role to ensure a successful outcome. Some issues, such as standards, cannot possibly be tackled at national level. The same goes for many issues surrounding data, data ownership, data user rights, and so on. Ladies and gentlemen, in digitizing European industry, we still have considerable uh, work ahead of us. I invite you to be part of this project. Let us join hands to master the task together. I wish you further fruitful discussions on the paper industry 4.0. And let me offer to you, maybe we should have a meeting in spring next year for to speak about concrete projects being relevant for your sector, for your companies and for my work as well. I like your sector and so please uh, let's come into contact and let's speak about concrete projects uh, of our good uh, cooperation. Thank you very much.